Well, 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 what is good, good people? It's another Something Good Sunday, and we are out doing what we love to do best, grabbing something <laughs> to eat. Uh, we are at a new spot. Uh, we found it maybe a couple weeks ago, and um, I really was looking for one particular item. I was looking for some burrito tacos, and I wasn't trying to drive too far. Greedy. So, uh, so um, yeah. So, this was on their menu, and little did I know when I got here, it was so much more. So, um, we about to get in here and, and grab us something to eat. And make it do what it do. All right. Because <laughs> Babe likes trying different foods. All day. We'll let you guys know. All right. See you later. Bye. Beyond awesome, but it takes my husband going to details. I'm just gonna tell you how to eat taste and give you my rating. <laughs> Well, yes, we've made it to another Something Good Sunday, and it's great to have you all with us. We just want to go ahead and shout out that we do have our Patreon page, and I want to thank all those who have subscribed to that Patreon page and continue to help with the contribution of this channel. So we're at a new restaurant. Well, I say new restaurant, but we just found it and have gone several times now, and we just thought this would be a great place to feature on Something Good Sunday. When you come in, you're greeted with smiles and warmth and laughter and they'll explain everything that's going on. You order right off of this tablet that they have right there and they bring the food out to you. Excellent food, excellent service. So let's get into this review. There are multiple, multiple different things that we enjoy eating at this place. <laughs> and um, I'm actually gonna have someone come out and kind of explain all the way thoroughly, like the full name and concept of this restaurant because we come here and our eyes are bigger than our stomachs and we get pretty much everything that we can. So um, we just found out though, that they have a back patio area section and uh, didn't know. We've been coming around here when it's been cold lately, so we're gonna come out here and enjoy this food. And we did get a little bit of everything. We got two box plates. You wanna open this? I know. Guys, we are here with Ava. She's Hello. gonna. <laughs> She has been a delight. She's going to explain to us exactly what we what we have ordered. Hold on, one moment. Yeah. Go ahead, babe. Take it over. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I was going to say um, I'm glad she's here because she finally explained how to say the name of the restaurant. I've been butchering it the whole time, and it's Kettlebell yes. Express. There you go, Kettlebell yeah. Express. Kettlebell Express. Nice, <laughs> nice. So, um, yeah. Okay, I will go ahead and explain everything to you. Yes. So I see that you you ordered a garlic fries. So Filipinos love garlic. We put everything with garlic. Okay. And then this one is a pancit. It's the noodles. So it's kind of like a chopped che or like um, a rice noodles. But this one is vermicelli noodles with like um, veggies on top. And then the other one is chicken adobo. Philippines very famous with chicken adobo. And this one is the sisig. It's pork belly with a tangy flavor and a mayo on top. I will honestly say I got this I think the first time I came mm -hmm. here and it didn't look like this at first. Like oh it looked, really? It looks really good. Yeah, the jalapenos. This like is my kick. favorite. Is it? Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. I okay. love seasick so much. Okay. And then this one is um a birria tacos. So the birria tacos, um we have two flavors. We have the pork belly sissy birria tacos and then this one is the beef. So you, what you do is like you just dip it with a consomme. Um, I like it with, um, I like my consomme with cilantro and onions on it. Okay. And then that's how you eat it. And then this one has cheddar cheese as well. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. that's good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much yeah, because sure. you wanted to copy me and get the same thing. So. <laughs> I did. I did. So I did. Yeah. Exactly the same. Thank yeah. you awesome. so much. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
thank you so much for coming of out to course. me. How long have you guys actually been in business here? So we started as a food truck. You'll see our little food truck right over there. Okay. And we started in Sixth Street. And then after a year of um, service, um, we actually turned into a brick and mortar. Nice. So we are we opened in the peak of pandemic, which is like nice. I think October 2020. Wow. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. It's been an adventure. <laughs> I love it because your reviews are always like five point star. Everybody's yeah, like, we come so here, much. we get our food, yeah. and it's excellent. And guys, it's affordable. Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> come visit us. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, you're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you so much. We uh -huh. do appreciate it. Okay. <laughs> so I'm very, very thankful that uh, she was able to come and explain everything to you all because pretty much what she explained and what we have is exactly like our favorite things. And as I stated before, um, I really came for their um, barilla tacos because they were kind of the closest ones that they had. And um, we ended up coming for some barilla tacos and ended up loving everything else. So these tacos definitely are crispy, they're ready to go. And of course, you have your juice to dip it in. You gotta love it. And Babe loves these now too. I do, yeah. I do. But also, the main reason why we're here today is that everything that we order today is actually 12% is going back. Yeah. Uh, the proceeds are going to help over in Ukraine with the yes. war. So that is very, very great to hear. Um, it is a local establishment. They did have their food truck and, you know, with the grace of everything going on greatly for them, they were able to open this brick and mortar. So come it. on down. Uh, I will put the address right here. Um, Make sure you stop here. I think, you know, we, we've been here now three times. And like I said, it was it was one of those we, you know, it's way on the other side of town for us. <laughs> but we love coming here for it. So, you know, everything is authentic. The food is good. And I'm getting to dig into these tacos right now, though. He's so. going to try the tacos. I'm going to try. I got actually the pulled pork. I'm not going gonna, gonna to try these tacos. I'm going to eat them. He's going to eat them. <laughs> the season... To me, it's cooked to perfection. There's not too much salt. It's not overbearing with seasoning, but it's fresh as always. How are the tacos? He can't even say anything. <laughs> you know, what I will say is we do a lot of places for something good Sunday. And I really, for me, I enjoy when my wife is able to say everything is season to perfection because it we is. go some places and food is good and there's particular items that you have on menus that are good mm -hmm. but we i don't think we haven't eaten anything here that's not good i've even had their porridge As a matter of fact let me throw this menu out real quickly while i'm talking to you um they have several different items that i particularly have never heard of mm -hmm. and i don't think if i ever would have come here before that i probably would have heard of them or even tried them so it's really good um it's definitely worth the visit um if you're coming in town visit family and you're in austin you got to come here if you live in austin and you haven't been here you got to come here <laughs> all of my friends that i've told about this place before who have just not stopped through here you got to come through here mm -hmm. hopefully this is uh, uh definitely make up your mind and decision here so oh guys the tacos i was just <laughs> telling my husband they're like street tacos right <laughs> Little cheese, but what really brings it out the most, the shell is fried hard, right? It's like they dip it and they fry it again. Some I don't know, but it's just crazy taste. And then there's the lime juice that I put on top. Mm. After all of that, once you dip it, <laughs> guys, you're once you away. dip it, you have to dip it. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Bay wants to be a, a, a food connoisseur. I do. Don't forget the onion. Mm. Mm. We just bring in fresh local cuisine of different places to the eyes and ears of those who have not experienced it yet. So make sure you come on down. Carabao Express. <laughs> oh, I got a whole bunch of jalapenos in here. Yo, yeah, there is one item that is our favorite item that we normally take on the way home. Mm. <clears throat> we didn't get it this time around. 
Number one, because I wasn't trying to be greedy. I had enough. But two, you got to eat them while they're hot. Like, since they come out, I mean, you could take them home, but you got to eat them while, when they come out. Mm. They sell leche on here, which is fried pork belly. Good man. I eat it in the morning, right out of the refrigerator. Right out of the refrigerator. <laughs> I remember the first time we had him, we had got a box, and he, I think we had like two or three left by the time mm -hmm. we made it home. So now it's like fried pork belly is where it is if you if you come here. And you can get that as one of the uh, entrees in your box. There's several different meats that you can have, but normally just getting it by itself, you get a lot of pieces. Definitely. It's so good. <laughs> So, for this week only, they have a St. Patrick's Day Lime Dole Whip. Normally, their flavor that they have here is a pineapple Dole Whip, uh, but this is a mint one. I'm going to let Babe try it first. <laughs> I really am. I'm ready. I know exactly how it's going to be. I love Dole Whip, and I'm going to make sure Babe enjoys it here. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Okay, it's like, it's like literally lime. And she said it was for St. Patrick's Day, but oh my goodness, it's like a 7-Up with ice cream in one. It's nice. <laughs> she said, mm. wait, a 7-Up and ice cream in one. 7-Up, mm -hmm. lime, and ice cream. That's how it tastes. <laughs> what about you? Oh, I love Dole Whip. I just want to try this mint one that they got here. Ooh. Nice. That hit right. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> it's refreshing. It is. Mm. Cold. Too much in my mouth. It's cold. I mean, eat this hot taco again. <laughs> Too much in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and to dip it. <laughs> Guys, the food was good. Yeah. Mm. Yes, everything was excellent. Definitely want to spotlight uh, Carabao Express on Something Good Sunday. More to come down the line. Make sure you come this week. Try, try, try this dough whip that they have especially for this week and make sure you check out our Instagram we have modified and CD we have the good old stick to you softly and <laughs> modified um, and and keep tracks on, on all that we're doing and where we're going next um, this establishment is definitely gonna be in our life for days months and years to come as long as that brick and mortar stays here <laughs> we will be here so anyway that's it for something good Sunday. That's it, guys. Bye. Right, we'll see y'all on the next one. But what time is it? Just don't whip.